What type of men do you usually find yourself dating? For some reason, I typically attract the emotionally unavailable, narcissistic, so into themselves. Now, I don't pick them out of a lineup, say, you, hey, the emotionally unavailable, come here. <laughs> I don't do that, but somehow that's what I end up dating. The entertainers, the athletes, the, you know, the executives, they, they listen, they come in all shapes and sizes and forms, yes? So, that's what... Okay, let me ask you something. Why do you think that is? When I envision who I want in a mate, I envision a power couple. However, power tends to come along with some other things that are not so desirable, at least for me. And so, the, it's just, I can't get the best of both worlds in one, one guy. You attract what you put out. If you think all men are dogs, here they come. Yeah. Yeah. Here they come. You're going to meet every last one of them. So, in your looking for this man who is powerful, well, guess what? In order to become powerful, in order to really, really make it, you're gonna have to have an amazing amount of confidence in yourself. And so, when you see the athlete or the entertainer, you go, wow, look what I just found. <laughs> and guess what? Yes, you did. Yeah. So here comes the emotionally unavailable and ain't no room for you. Yeah. See what I'm saying? So, here's what I did. I sent my buddy Najla on a speed dating challenge with five guys. One of them is a good guy that she should want a second date with. All the others are some usual suspects that she tends to date. So you ladies know who they are. The narcissist, the mama's boy, the emotionally unavailable guy, the player. Let's see how it went when I sent her on this little deal here. The usual suspects. Let's get right to this. Okay. What is your ideal date? I like taking girls out to a bar, you know, getting loose, having a good time, just, just having fun, okay. you know what I mean? Now, what's your idea of getting loose? Have some drinks, you know, okay. just have a good time. So right. you're, not, you're not a guy that's afraid of being in an intimate space? No. Okay. I thrive in an intimate you space. You thrive in, that? okay. Yeah, yeah. You're absolutely beautiful, and if I didn't have a rule on not kissing on the first date, <laughs> I'd, I'd definitely change that, okay. you know what I mean? Are you ready for a relationship? Yes, and... Okay, I see some yeah. hesitation there. What, what's the hesitation about? I have trust issues. You have trust? There's, there's what kind of trust I, issues do man, you have? Man, I've been in like, like with crazy relationships and like I attract like stalkers and crazy and people who break my heart. I'm scared to like give a person my all, you know what okay. I mean? I'm not a stalker, but just so Are you know. Sure? I'm, listen, <laughs> how do you handle conflict? I like to talk it out right away. It's not about pointing the finger or pointing blame no, or anything I'm, like that? The big picture is the relationship. Whatever we need to do to make that work, okay. we, we do that. What is your take on public display of affection? If I am in a relationship that I'm happy in and I want to be affectionate to my partner, then I would like to be affectionate to her wherever we are. What is the most important thing for you in a relationship? When I when I get off work, I like to come home with a nice cook, home cooked meal and okay. stuff like that. You know, uh, being Ashley, from the south, I can understand yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, you know. Also, like you know, when my lady wears you know like lingerie, like nice sexy things, just for okay. me. You know, now, do you buy this lingerie for her? <laughs> I got anything she needs. Okay. Know. Oh, okay. You know, <laughs> you know, we got kids. I want you to stay at the house, just raise the kids, and okay. you know, do everything. You don't want me running around barefoot and pregnant, do you? No, you ain't gotta be barefoot, you know, but you can put some socks <laughs> on. Put some socks on and be put socks on. Okay. Flip flops. So okay. Whatever, get the job done. Well, let me ask you if I came to the table mm -hmm. with my own career, yeah. you would expect me to. If you see my bank account, she would be like, nah. Okay. Good. Okay. What does your relationship uh, what look like with your family? I think family is really important. I have a great mm -hmm. relationship with my mom. She's one of my best friends. Okay. Ask her for advice a lot. Is she always yeah. interested in your dating life? Yeah, well, I mean, what mom? What mom yeah. isn't, you know? If mom doesn't approve or give blessing, does that mean that the new girlfriend is 86 out? I'd like to have her blessing. But what if you didn't? Would you still pursue that relationship? Probably not. Well, I've had a really amazing time. I've gotten to meet some really great people such as yourself, so we'll see. What we're gonna do is we're gonna find out who did she pick to go out with? I have the answer right here in this envelope. But you're gonna have to wait to find out after this break. And guess what? 
All five of the guys will be out here. Hey, I'm Steve Harvey. You want more of that? Well, don't just sit there. Go get it. Press subscribe or click on this list and you can see all the amazing videos you want. Press it. Press it.